This video will describe how to create export settings and custom data queries and schedule automatic delivery of your RX3000 data. Here we're logged into a, uh, an RX3000 account and we, we have a device open. So this is our 3G weather station. This is a 3G device. And if we scroll down through the screen, we'll see some on an area called data. When you purchase a new RX3000 and register it in your account, there is a default query that's created called the serial number of the device over the past week. And that will include all of the data that the RX3000 recorded over the last seven days. If we click on that query name, the data will be immediately exported. To change that configuration, edit it, delete it, or add uh, additional queries, click on All Exports, and that will open uh, our custom data screen. These are all of the queries that are currently available for all of the loggers and all the RX3000s that are in our account. So this particular device, the serial number is 107.08996. This is it here. We can edit this query. We can copy it. We can delete it, or we can immediately export data. To create a new export setting, we'll click on the button that says Create Export Settings. And here is our query builder. We can give our export settings a name. We can select what kind of file format we want to have this exported in, either comma separated value, Excel format, or what we call Hoboware CSV, which allows immediately uh, immediate import into our Hoboware Pro software product. Here's where we can select the time zone. We also have some choices as to what data we want to export. If we say between, before, or after, those are one-time exports. If we want this to be a recurring export, like for data delivery, for regular delivery, periodically we would click on over the past. And this is where we can say our time period, let's say 14 days here. The next step we need to follow, step number two, is to select what devices we want to include in this export. Here are all of the devices that are currently in our account. We're going to select the weather station. If you select, uh, if you check off this little box here, and then scroll down to step number three, which is order the sensors or organize your sensors as to how you want them exported. So we'll click on the little plus sign here. Scroll down and you'll see with this checkbox checked off, this includes all of the sensors that are on that particular RX3000. You can rearrange these by left clicking, holding and sliding sensors. Uh, to reorder them, or you can select an arrow down to change their order. The other thing you can do also, if you don't want to include all of the sensors from a specific station, you can simply click on the little triangle in front of the station twice and you will see the sensors and you can, you can choose the sensors individually. You can also include sensors from other stations in your account. So you could include, for example, if you have several stations that are all measuring rainfall and you want to include the rainfall, only the rainfall data in a query from all the different RX3000s in your account, you can do that. So if you wanted to select specific sensors, you check them off here and then they will be included in your export query here. Click on Save. And now we have a new query called test. If we want to schedule to have this sent to us periodically via email or to an FTP site, click on uh, schedule delivery. We'll create a new delivery schedule. By default, it's called new schedule. You can call it anything you want. And this is, you would set up how often you want this data sent to you. Days, weeks, months. We want to deliver only new data so we don't get duplicate data uh, points. This is in case you have 
you select more than one station and they're connecting at different intervals. And this is where we would select what query we want to select, which is our test query. And then we can select to send this data either to an FTP site or to an email address or both. And then save it. For more information on creating export queries or any other information regarding our Hobo data logger products, please go to our website at onsetcomp.com. Periodically, we get requests from customers where data delivery doesn't quite meet their need, and they want to write their own um, software to display their Hobolink data on their own website in their own format. So for those folks, we, su we support something called web services where we can provide the data from the Hobolink server, and uh, the customer can write their code to display that data uh, on their own website. So there's two different architectures that are available. Uh, or supported. One is called SOAP, which is Simple Object Access Protocol. The other one is called REST, which is an acronym. It's Representational State Transfer Architecture. So we, we support both of those. And uh, here's a little, little schematic that kind of shows you how that works. Basically, what would happen is if you were interested in uh, developing your own web services um, software, we ask that you get in contact with our techn technical support group. They have a questionnaire that would kind of help us um, you know, just get some answers to some questions. We want to make sure that there's not going to be malicious code or, or uh, we don't want to overtax our servers. Um, so th there is, we, we do ask you a few questions prior to giving you what we call a token so that you, you can start um, acquiring your data from Hobolink. And there's a web services developers guide available on our website. I've included a, a link to that, uh, and you can access that from the resources tab at the top of your screen in the upper right-hand corner. But basically that goes through. Uh, it tells you what we need to see, what kind of code you need to write uh, to access those web services. So that's a good option for folks who uh, where uh, delay, data delivery may not quite fit the bill for their application. Also, we, we are partnered with a few different companies here, uh, a picture of our website, uh, several partners who can create custom dashboards if that's something you're looking for from your data, folks like Lucid, Air Advice, uh, Northright. Uh, here's some more information, and I, will, uh, inc I have a link to this page also in your resources tab. So if you're interested in perhaps seeing this data formatted and want to talk to them, you can access that information from our website as well.